Hi guys, my twin here. Thought I would go ahead and do a tutorial on implementing a uh, Cinti Low Poly Asset Vehicle using uh, Chaos Vehicles. I am currently in Unreal Engine 5.1 and the first thing I'm going to do is take this police car from the asset pack and I'm going to export it and I have this folder here. I made a Cinti Car Toot folder. I'm going to go ahead and pop it in there. Just hit save. Make sure you have export preview mesh ticked so you'll get the uh, the car mesh. And I'm going to open up Blender here. You don't need any plugins in Blender to be able to do this. Go to File, Import, FBX, go to your folder that you put it where you put your vehicle and import FBX when the car is imported it will automatically be facing the X uh, forward axis so you don't have to worry about that so the next thing you need to do is go into uh, edit mode and wireframe I'm going to go ahead and go into vertex mode and deselect everything. Now I'm going to separate the car from all the tires. So I just select all the vertices that don't belong to the tires. I found it easier to do it this way than to try to just select, you know, the tires because it's just easier at least for me to do it like this. So we'll separate the car first. All right. Select everything that is not part of a tire. Let me move this over a little bit here. Can't see. There we go. And there's a part over the rear tires that uh, you can't see from this view, so we'll go to a different view. Hopefully I didn't get any tires there. Let me check something. No. All right, we'll go to side view here and keep selecting all the uh, vertices that don't, have, don't belong to a tire. Like that like that. Okay, that's the rim of the vehicle here. Okay. okay I'm going to go up underneath here. I'm going to go into face mode so I can select these axles cuz I'm going to whoops, I'm going to separate them too. So just separate everything from the vehicle that is not a tire. <laughs> All right, let's see. Looks like we got that. Oh, I see some over here. Yeah, I missed these. There's a couple here. It might take you some time. It's a little bit tedious, but uh, if you want to use a Cinti vehicle using Chaos, it's just what you got to deal with. I'm going to look in here and make sure... Okay, it looks like I have it. So what I'm going to do now is hit P and tick on Selection. That would separate the car from the tires. Go back to Solid Mode so I could see... I'm going to hide that. Now I see we missed a piece. But the tires are intact, so I'm going to go back into Edit Mode here. And I'm going to select this piece. And it looks like it has another face on the bottom here. Okay. And I'm going to hit P to separate it. And I'll bring everything back. And I'll hide the tires by hitting H. And I'm going to try to find that piece that wasn't added to it. Here it is. So 
I'll select that first and I'll shift select the car and I'll hit control J to put it back together there alright so hit alt H now let's hide the car itself now we have the tires and we need to separate these so I'm going to go into edit mode here and I'm going to go into wireframe and select everything in the front right tire <laughs> it took me a second front right tire and I'm going to hit P selection and I'm going to select it and if you go over here and hover in your scene collection and you hit the period key it'll show what's highlighted and I'm going to change the name of this to F L or oh sorry F R geez I'm getting myself mixed up for a front right tire okay and then just hit enter get out of there then with your tire selected go up here to object set origin origin to geometry alright so you see that dot right there that's what you want and you have to do it to each tire so let's get out of there we'll select that all three of the other ones go back into edit mode select all of them hit P to separate it okay now we'll select it go over here to your right panel and name this one FL for front left and go over here to object set origin origin to geometry so we have its origin here this origin is here and now we'll go back to object mode and select these two go back into edit mode select all of the tire we hit P to separate it back into object mode select it go to object set origin origin to geometry and over here in your right hand panel name it RL for rear left Okay, we only have one left, so let's set its origin to its geometry. Go over here and name it RR for rear right. And there you go. I'm going to go back into solid mode here. Okay, make sure you still have them parented. Don't mess with that at all. So hit Alt-H to bring everything back. Whoops, go into object mode first and hit Alt-H to bring everything back deselect everything by hitting the A key twice and then we'll reselect everything okay now we got everything selected we will go to file export FBX over here in the uh, right panel here select mesh hold down shift select the armature and go up here and tick on selected objects for the geometry section do the drop down in the smoothing choose face and name your FBX file now I'm gonna go into my folder right here and I'm gonna name this police car FBX so I'm going to export that into my folder and I'm done with blender so I'm just gonna actually save this in case I want to use it later I might as well right so I'm going to save it in that folder I did in case I want to mess with it at another point in time and I'll just call it uh, police car blend okay so I can close that now go back into your project and I like to create a separate folder in the content folder just add new folder and 
I'll call mine My Vehicles. Now I'm going to go to the folder that I had it in, a police car, a FBX file right here, and I'm going to drag it in, close that window, and up here, you don't make any changes to anything, except for where it says create new material do not create material because it will already be there you don't have to mess with that and just hit import okay and there we have our police car so we'll save all and now the police car is ready let's go ahead and uh, put the materials on it Open that up for me, will you? Are you trying to? Yeah, it'll take a minute. Probably doing shaders. There we go. Alright, I'm just going to dock that in here. And if you go over here to the material slots, you'll see what the material name is. So just up here, type M. Polygon City. Oh, I forgot the name of it. What was it? <laughs> oh, M Polygon City 01A. M Polygon City 01A. Okay, there we go. And then for the glass, Polygon City Glass. M Polygon City Glass car windows. Is that what it had on there? Yeah. Okay. So now you got your vehicle in there and you're ready to try to uh, implement the chaos. So we got this car up this far and my notes are based on a tutorial by Pink Pocket TV in how to get the uh, car working in chaos. And I'm not going to sit here and act like I developed this or I discovered this. Um, I followed a, another tutorial so I don't want to copy anybody else's work. The only thing I did differently from that tutorial was how I processed the vehicle without a plug-in. So in the link, uh, I'm going to put a link in the description of this video uh, directing you to that tutorial and if you start at point uh, 640 six minutes and 40 seconds in that's where he starts to set up the car uh, the car wheels and and all that good stuff so rather than sit here and and look at my notes because my notes are from that very video I'm just going to direct you to that video to be able to uh, finish setting up your Cinti car so that's it um, thanks a lot for watching and I hope this helps you out Bye-bye.